Welcome to this video on the sex cult that happened within Sarah Lawrence College. This is a story of emotional and psychological abuse that is both shocking and disturbing. And before I dive in, I want to say my heart goes out to the survivors and their families of this traumatic experience. Recently, Lawrence Ray was convicted of sex trafficking and received a 60 year prison sentence. In this video, we're going to take a closer look at this case, the victim's testimonies, and how does this type of course of control and abuse happen? And also the charges that were brought against Lawrence Ray. We're going to explore the importance of speaking out against this type of abuse so justice can be served and so more awareness can be raised on the severity of emotional and psychological abuse. This information comes from the New York Times article, which I will link below and other news reports. Lawrence Ray, also known as Larry, is a man who sexually abused and financially extorted over a million dollars from college students for over a decade for his own financial gain and benefit. He became involved with the students at Sarah Lawrence College, a prestigious liberal arts college in New York, in an unusual way. After serving time in prison for an unrelated case, he moved into his daughter's dorm room in the college in 2010. And from there, he began to prey on her classmates, grooming them slowly, using psychological and emotional manipulation tactics to control and exploit them. He would befriend the students and offer them therapy sessions, where he said that he could help improve their lives. He would speak about the importance of honesty and would open up to the students about his own life, and then got them to open up to him about their lives. In these cases, I don't think it's talked about enough how this actually happens. Many people want to believe that it would never happen to them, and they can't believe how somebody could stay in such an abusive dynamic for years. Yet this points to how uneducated we are as a society on course of control and how it happens with a pattern of manipulative behavior over a long period of time, which can be very hard to detect while you are in it experiencing it. No one knowingly asked to have these horrific things happen to them. They are drawn in because somebody offers them a promise of a better future, listens to them, meets their unique needs, seems like a sincere friend, mentor, or teacher, or builds up trust in various different ways. If you think back to high school or college, there may have been an automatic trust in your best friend's parents. And in our society, parents can play an automatic authoritarian role, which can create a bias for young people to feel like they can trust them or that they should follow and listen to them since parents know best. There isn't much education offered in high schools or universities that teaches the youth about coercive tactics, about narcissism, psychopathy, and how to critically think and communicate in a powerful way when something starts to feel off. After Lawrence acted as a charming caretaker, he built up this foundation of trust with them and then began to accuse those young women of hurting him and then slowly began to degrade them and made them feel worthless while isolating them from their families so that they would lose their support system. By making them feel worthless, guilty, isolated, he could then more easily, gradually escalate the abuse until they were enslaved to him. It has been said that he even studied these tactics of cults, mind control, and grooming so that he could bend his victims to his will. The tactics that Lawrence Ray used are very much from the same playbook of cult leaders and other abusers, whether they've studied it or not. Make sure to educate yourself on these tactics so you can better detect and prevent this type of abuse from happening. You can follow me for more and check out my other related videos. Several victims have come forward with their stories of abuse. They've shared how he's won them over, and then he would make them feel worthless and he would threaten them and deprive them of food and sleep, which is another very common tactic of coercive controllers. By making them feel worthless, making threats, and depriving them of food and sleep, it weakens their mental state and can reduce their alertness and critical thinking capacity so the abuser can better maintain power and control while they are in survival mode. He also would take explicit photos of them and prostitute them out. One of the victims, Miss Drury, stated that she saw multiple men per day in hotel rooms every day of the week and then gave Lawrence Ray $2.5 million. He had others drain their parents' savings accounts or open lines of credit to pay off his false debts. He also was stated to have threatened to kill them and handcuffed one to a chair and covered her head with a plastic bag. Despite the victim's horrific testimonies in court, some say that Larry Ray sat there emotionless with no remorse. The victims described feeling trapped and powerless, saying that they were unable to escape the abuse. One explained it by saying it felt like an attack on her soul, which I feel describes how coercive control works and feels. 
It is incredibly courageous that they have spoken out about their experiences. It's not easy to put it all out in the public eye and expose what happened to you. But this is the only way that abuse can stop when victims are able to speak out and bring light to the abuse that is happening. Thanks to these survivors, the case was investigated by the FBI and local law enforcement. Lawrence Ray was charged with multiple counts of sex trafficking, extortion, and forced labor. The defense lawyers asked for him to only receive 15 years in prison since Lawrence had been subject to physical, verbal, and sexual abuse while growing up in New York. Yet luckily, he was held accountable for his behaviors as he was convicted on all counts and received his 60-year prison sentence. While many in the case had hoped for a life sentence, this sentence will most likely keep him in prison for the rest of his life since he is already 63 years old right now. The judge in the case called called his actions sadism and pointed to the horrific nature of the abuse. It seems that people understood the psychopathy of Lawrence Ray and how he not only committed these horrific acts, but derived pleasure from inflicting that pain, suffering, humiliation, and sexual abuse on these young women. I was glad to hear that the judge told the victims that they had exhibited a courage that was extraordinary in standing up and speaking up to the very man who had tortured them. I feel it's also worth noting that Sarah Lawrence College has yet to release a statement on how Lawrence Ray was able to live in the dorm room and prey on their students. It's important for schools and universities across the nation to enforce more responsibility and accountability to prevent such abuses from happening again and again. And it's my hope that these schools and universities also offer more education on psychological and emotional abuse and the red flags to look out for. Along with following this YouTube channel, you can also follow my Instagram accounts, Callie Sorensen and my nonprofit, Red Flag Education, for more awareness and also make sure that you download my free red flag workbooks on toxic relationships and cults in the description below. The Sarah Lawrence College sex trafficking case is a tragic example of emotional and psychological abuse. Lawrence Ray used manipulation and control to exploit and abuse his victims for over a decade. It's important to hold those who are guilty of such abuses accountable and to support the survivors. So if you or somebody you know has been affected by this or any other form of abuse, please reach out for support. There are resources and professionals who are available to support you heal through this traumatic type of abuse. Together, we can speak out against abuse, raise awareness and educate, create a zero tolerance policy, and make the world a safer place for everyone. Thank you so much for watching.